China's Shenzhou 13 crew just returned to Earth, and China aims to finish the construction of its space station by the end of this year, which will be open to astronauts and scientists from around the world. So how do you evaluate China's manned space projects over the past decades? China's space sector is, is really developing very successfully and everybody is impressed about uh, the construction of the Tiangong space station and also with what speed uh, it proceeds. Um, I think that this provides strong inspiration for the young generation worldwide and in particular also in China. And uh, of course, congratulations for the recent successful six months mission and the safe return of the Shenzhou 13 crew. And also congratulations to Wang Yangping as the first Chinese woman ever to conduct the spacewalk. So the International Space University um, offers actually a team project uh, at our space studies program in the summer 2022, so very soon in Portugal, which is entitled International Cooperation on the Chinese Space Station. And oh. um, we do that, of course, uh, in cooperation with China. And we hope that this will uh, really contribute to international cooperation's efforts on the Chinese space station. China has been cooperating with many countries on the Chang'e lunar projects and exploration of Mars. And what's your take on this kind of cooperation? Well, as I already said, China's space um, sector and planetary also exploration program is developing really successfully and, well, has made impressive progress with the recent uh, lunar sample return mission Chang'e 5, bringing back nearly two kilograms of lunar samples back to Earth, uh, the first moon sample since 44 years. And also the Mars mission Tianwen-1 and its rover Surong has uh, landed successfully at first attempt and investigates the Martian surface. So China has really this very ambitious planetary exploration program and many missions in the planning. And it cooperates with many international partners. And uh, as for all the international corporations in uh, science and technology development in the space sector, these international cooperation projects are really crucial to exploit worldwide expertise and also to find common interest to go further in space. As a president of International Space University, what are your suggestions on how to better cultivate the love and enthusiasm towards space among the youth? Yes, this is a very important topic. So. At the International Space University, we develop the next generation of space leaders, uh, in particular also through interdisciplinary and intercultural and international programs. And we are very, very fortunate uh, that we have many ISU alumni from China. Actually, more than 100 employees in China's manned space program are alumni of the International Space University. There are really exciting times and we need a stellar workforce uh, that joins the space, factor, uh, space sector in the, in the future. And we need to inspire more students and also in particular female students uh, that are enthusiastic for science and engineering, uh, but also life sciences and space business uh, that really want to pursue a space career. So this new space generation will not only implement innovative space missions and exploration missions, which we talk today, but also open new markets and um, for space applications and address global challenges for the benefits of citizens on Earth.